So the 100 is returning for its final season in a week, and just like I did for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I thought it would be fun to make a video talking about all of the things that I would love to see in the show's final outing. So the 100 is probably one of the most unique CW shows ever, with only season 1 kind of feeling like what we'd expect from a traditional CW show. Seasons 2 to 6 really push the boundaries of what we could expect from the CW network. So season 6 ended with an anomaly being revealed that stretches throughout space and time, and that gives the show an opportunity to do a lot of things it hasn't been able to do in the past, such as bringing back old characters in a very real, lasting way that isn't kind of, you know, using them for hosts, or kind of being an illusion, or a flashback, or whatnot, really bringing them back in a way that they can be there interacting with all of the main cast. Uh, maybe you could also show us what if scenarios, like, what if certain things in the show didn't happen. What what would have happened if the 48 didn't get picked up by Mount Weather, for example? And maybe we could just overall revisit the show's history and past. But if the season does go down this path, I still want it to have a good, solid, and fresh story. I don't want it to just be touching on the show's greatest hits from the last six seasons. And even though I really enjoyed Arrow's final season, this is something Arrow did. Um, where it, a lot of its episodes felt more like just revisiting past seasons and revisiting past characters rather than really telling the best story they could tell. I also would like some serious time dedicated to the remaining members of the 100, like Clark, Bellamy, Murphy, Octavia and Miller. And I want them all to have some great scenes together because it feels like the show has been splitting these characters up quite a bit almost every season. Um, these four have also, or these five, sorry, have also had some insane character development, and I would love to see how that kind of bounces off each other. In terms of characters I want to see return, most of my favourites are still alive, but some of the much older characters, such as Finn or Wells, would be really interesting, especially to see how they'd react to, to seeing what people like Clark and Raven and, and Octavia are like now. Uh, Finn was borderline crazy when he died. But I think seeing his reaction to Clark and the things she's done to survive would be a really interesting prospect. Like I'm hearing about how her and Bellamy pretty much genocided Mount Weather. Like they didn't have a choice, but they still did stuff like that. Lex is another amazing character who could have some great scenes with current Clark. And I think the show buying out without showing this kind of stuff would be wasted potential. While we're talking like this, Octavia and Lincoln are another duo that could really benefit from this treatment. When Lincoln died, Octavia was still a badass, but she was still very much part of Sky Crew and she had her humanity. She wasn't... She was she was hardened, but she wasn't kind of gone too far down a dark path yet. But over the following years, she's definitely become perhaps the darkest character on the show, and by far the most dangerous. Seeing Lincoln react to her one crew antics and all that will be fantastic storytelling, especially maybe hearing about the, the, the dark year and all that that they had underground will be kind of crazy. I'd also love to see Kane return, um, he's my favourite character who is dead, but it needs to be Henry Ian Cusick playing him or it just doesn't really count in my opinion. Rowan of Ice Nation is also a favourite of mine who I wouldn't mind seeing for the last time, and also because he's so good in every show he's in. Sanctum was a super compelling storyline from last season, but I also hope we wrap up that as soon as possible this season, preferably in the first one or two episodes, mainly because the anomaly and everything that teases looks to be so much more interesting than Sanctum and kind of wrapping that stuff up. Seeing different planets could also be extremely interesting, and maybe even seeing some people out there who don't come from Earth could be a really fun twist, because so far everyone we've seen off Earth has descended from humans or something like that. We also know that there's going to be an episode this season that is a backdoor pilot for the upcoming prequel, and the prequel is focused on the end of the world, and it'll start 97 years before uh, season 1 of the 100. Now I'm fine with them having this in the final season, mainly because it's probably going to be a way to entice fans to watch the, the spin-off show, and also because they're kind of going to... because assuming this show doesn't have like the 100th in its name or something like that, it'll probably be called something completely different, and um, it'll be very easy for fans of the show to not realise that there is going to be a spin-off show or a prequel, uh, especially if they're not kind of as active in online groups. But um, this could be a way to kind of show them that there is going to be another show that they can tune into, and it also, if they don't want to leave this universe, that that's going to be out there. But the episode should still include most of the core cast, and it should still somehow tie into the overall narrative of the season. Like, Arrow did something very similar with its penultimate episode of the final season, uh, called Green Arrow and the Canaries. Now, Making that the penultimate episode of the season was quite stupid. They definitely should have done that very early on in the season, rather than sandwich it between Crisis and Infinite Earths and the final episode of the show. But um, 
that episode, it was good, but it definitely felt, it stuck out in terms of the overall season, and I hope the 100 doesn't do this. Um, I hope, like, that this episode still, you can look, you can rewatch the season and pick out that episode and say that it still slots into the season very well, it doesn't stand out. Um, but in terms of the season's ending, a satisfying conclusion is an absolute must. But personally, I think a very bold and exciting way to go out could be maybe with all of the original 100 dying. Maybe Clark's daughter and Monty's son set up kind of a new generation of the 100th going forward. But um, like, I don't want all the main characters to die, but like Clark, Octavia, Murphy, Bellamy, Miller, and maybe Raven all dying could be a really, really, really bold way for the show to end. Um, so that would be something I would really like to see. But what do you think about all of this? Do you agree with my hopes? Do you disagree? What are all the things that you want to see in the show's final season? But thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and all of that, and I hope you're staying safe in these crazy times, and I hope you have an amazing day.